Philippine Army activates the 1st Brigade Combat Team BCT. Manila, in line with efforts to form a compact and fast mobilization force. The Philippine Army PA, on Saturday activated the 1st Brigade Combat Team BCT, on the site of the new Special Operations Command, SOCOM, Fort Ramon Magsaysay, Nueva Ecija. This creation emanated when the Army, which became the main land force of the Philippine Armed Forces, deliberately began developing in 2016 a strategic territorial defense concept that aims to form a compact, responsive and modern force capable of engaging in conventional and, or no warfare conventional, disaster relief and rescue operations, and other non-traditional roles. Army spokesman Lt. Col. Louis Villanueva said. He added that the 1st BCT will be a rapid deployable unit of the Army with the right mix of strengths for each field that has strategic significance. This will consist of a maneuver component that includes two infantry and a mechanical battalion, maneuver support consisting of special enablers such as field artillery and battalion combat fighters surveillance companies and units from signals, intelligence, civil military operations, military police, explosive weapons, CBRN, biological and nuclear radiologists, and supporting components consisting of forward service support units and medical platoons in the future. Present during the activation ceremony were Army Commander, Lt. Gen. Macarag S. Alberto, let us always be reminded that we are obliged to safeguard our country's sovereignty and national territorial integrity. Our ancestors have sacrificed their precious lives and we are now obliged to defend them and be the best examples of public service to meet the aspirations and hopes of Filipinos, Alberto said. I know there will be challenges but I am very confident that this is a combination of the most perfect combined strength in pursuing the transformation of our organization so that we become a more relevant, effective and efficient combat force. We get an excuse but let us not fight with them. We must continue to adopt a constant state of current operational challenges, he added. Villanueva said BCT was an emergency force that could provide operational flexibility and would be the decisive force of the unified command during a crisis and, or situation of armed conflict. The establishment of the BCT was directed at improving the army into a joint joint force capable of overcoming various threats and challenges in the entire operational range of the army. With characteristics given as a mixture of forces, it can be used in a variety of situations whether in peacetime or wartime. Meanwhile, the BCT-1 headquarters must be established at Fort Magsaysay to execute the command and control of the attached component units. The unit which will be ordered the Brigadier General Leopoldo Imbong Jr., will be temporarily attached to the 7th Infantry Division. This unit is also set to be placed under tactical control TACON, of Training and Command Doctrine TRIDOC, for organizational consolidation and training. It is committed to training with our U.S. counterparts in the upcoming SALAKNIB and AFPUS Balakat in training who aim to develop their capabilities further in carrying out joint weapons operations in, in preparation for future work, added Villanueva. Source pna.gov.ph
aktibo ng Philippine Army ang 1st Brigade Combat Team BCT Manila kasama sa mga pagsisikap na bumuo ng isang compact at mabilis na puwersa ng paglulunsad. Ang Philippine Army pa, noong Sabado ay isi na aktibo ang 1st Brigade Combat Team BCT sa site ng New Special Operations Command, SOCOM, Fort Ramon Magsaysay, Nueva Ecija. Ang paglikha na ito ay nagsimula ng ang Army na naging pangunahing pwersa ng pwersa ng Philippine Armed Forces. Ay sadyang nagsimulang umunlad sa 2016 ng isang estratehikong konsepto ng pagtatanggol sa teritoryo na naglalayong bumuo ng isang compact. Responsive at modernong pwersa na may kakayahang mag-conventional at o hindi warfare conventional, disaster relief and rescue operations, at iba pang di tradisyonal na tungkulin. Sinabi ng tagapagsalita ng Army na si Lieutenant Colonel Louis Villanueva. Idinagdag niya na ang 1st BCT ay magiging isang mabilis na deployable unit ng Army na may tamang halo ng mga lakas para sa bawat larangan na may strategic significance. Ito ay binubuo ng isang bahagi ng pagnanakaw na kinabibilangan ng dalawang impanteriya at isang mekanikal na bata o lion. Ito na ng suporta na binubuo ng mga espesyal na enabler tulad ng field artillery at bata layo na mandirigma fighters, mga kumpanya ng surveillance at mga unit mula sa signal, katalinuhan. Mga operasyong sibil militar, pulis militar, mga sandata ng paputok, CBRN, biological at nuclear radiologist at mga sumusuporta sa mga sangkap na binubuo ng forward service support units at medical pluton sa hinaharap kasalukuyan sa seremonya ng pag-activate ang Army Commander. Lieutenant General Moquerog S. Alberto, palagi nating ipaalala na obligado tayong pangalagaan ang soberanya ng ating bansa at integridad ng teritorial na teritoryo. Ang ating mga ninuno ay isinakripisyo ang kanilang mahalagang buhay at obligado na ngayong ipagtanggol ang mga ito at maging ang mga pinakamahusay na halimbawa ng serbisyong pampubliko upang matugunan ang mga hangarin at pag-asa ng mga Pilipino. Sabi ni Alberto, alam ko na magkakaroon ng mga hamon ngunit ako ay lubos na nagtitiwala na ito ay isang kombinasyon ng pinaka-perpektong pinagsamang lakas sa paghabol ng pagbabagong anyo ng aming organisasyon upang tayo ay maging isang mas may kaugnayan. Mabisa at mahusay na pwersa ng pagbabaka, huwag tayong makipaglaban sa kanya, dapat tayong patuloy na magpatibay ng kasalukuyang kalagayan ng kasalukuyang mga hamon sa pagpapatakbo, dagdag niya. Sinabi ni Villanueva na ang BCT ay isang pwersa ng emerhensya na maaaring magbigay ng kakayahang magamit sa pagpapatakbo at magiging mapagpasyang pwersa ng Unified Command sa panahon ng krisis at o sitwasyon ng armadong tunggalian. Ang pagtatatag ng BCT ay nakadirekta sa pagpapabuti ng Army sa isang pinagsamang joint force na may kakayahang labanan ang iba't ibang mga banta at hamon sa buong hanay ng pagpapatakbo ng Army. Sa mga katangian na ibinigay bilang isang timpla ng puwersa, maaari itong magamit sa iba't ibang mga sitwasyon kung sa panahon ng kapayapaan o panahon ng digmaan, samantala. Dapat itatag ang BCT-1 headquarters sa Fort Magsaysay upang may segoway ang command at kontrol ng mga nakalakip na unit-unit, ang unit na iniutos ng Brigadier General Leopoldo Embang Jr. ay pansamantalang ikabit sa 7th Infantry Division. Ang unit na ito ay nakatakdari na may lagay sa ilalim ng Tactical Control TACON ng Training and Command Doctrine TRIDOC, para sa organisasyong pagsasama at pagsasanay. Nakatuon ito sa pagsasanay sa aming mga katapat sa US sa darating na SALAKNIB at AFPUS Balikatan Training na naglalayong palakasin ng kanilang mga kakayahan sa pagpapatupad ng mga operasyon ng Sandata at paghahanda para sa hinaharap na gawain, dagdag ni Villanueva. Pinagmulan niya .gov.ph
Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.